Yeah, it's right, uh, 2016, 2017, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's some old cars. I mean, I know they started selling the new Mustang here a few years back, actually. I mean, yeah. It's even a right-hand drive model. The black roof meaning. Is it the GT one? Nope, it's not. They just put black roof on it. Oh, well. I don't know if it just it normally has a multi-color roof. Oh, sorry, the separate color roof it means it's a GT model, but you know what? Still, it's still a Mustang in England, so that's pretty cool. Also, uh, Ford Focus ST. Sorry, car museum place feels like a fairground. Look at it, yeah. If it does feel like a fairground. Also, it's raining. An old-ish Ford. Here's the British Airways on the front. Kinda cool. Into the museum and out of the rain. Back outside we go. It's pouring out here now. To the planes. Here building one. I'm going back outside again. Get to the bus, get to the bus. Bus. Joe, move bus. Yes. Back in the rain we go. We're going to Concord now. Plane. Oh crap, that's less water. Here we are, over the plane. Onto the plane we go. Also, we have to go back out into the rain now. At least a little bit. At least still let, letting up a little bit. No, no, don't worry. You got lost trying to get in here. Oh, did you? Okay. Like twice. Can we get first with your camera, Oliver? Yep. Whew. Whew. Oh, right. Jump right. Yes. Put that down, please. Ooh, that's low. There we are. Cool. Concord, wow. This is Concord then. So cool. So cool. Can't see outside really. <laughs> A little bit, I guess. But if you've got any questions you'd like to ask, please do so much. Look at this. Ooh. <laughs> it's like a dart, yeah. Actually, it actually, actually kind of still smells like an airplane. <laughs> Oh, you want that one? Yeah. Pizza, tiny. 1990s seats. 1970 seats. Does still feel like an actual airplane? I know we're going to be still on the ground, obviously, because it's a grounded plane. <laughs> Duh. Um, it still feels like we're taking game for like an actual takeoff. Okay. Yeah. Even the flaps work. Kind of. And, uh, it's a bit, a bit rainy out there, but look, there's still things out there. Planes and things. Yeah. Clearance and we'll be sort of on time. Once we line up on the runway, we'll be opening off. up our four Rolls Royce engines to full power, and you'll feel the reheats kick in. A nudge of acceleration in your back as the extra 25% of power comes in. We'll accelerate very quickly through 100 miles an hour and within 40 seconds we'll be at 250 miles an hour when I'll pull back on the control column, rotating Concorde to 13 degrees nose up. I can feel that. The seat's rumbling now. I keep thinking we're about to move, but we're not moving anywhere. 
100 knots. Gotcha. That's awesome. Wait, what? That's a surprisingly that's long quite flight deck. Yeah. It's quite, yeah, that's, uh, that's not a lot of room. That's a. Uh, wow, this has so much. It's so cool to look at, though. It is quite small. Like, so I can see why I'm not allowed to go up there because there's a wall no, here. That's right. Some okay. of my hair has actually been pulled out on the door frame, so I guess now my hair is kind of permanently part of this aircraft. <laughs> quite long. Oh, no, it is. Oh, dear. Oliver Giles, Country USA, comments wet. What's nice actually is that right now it's not raining enough to warrant me actually using an umbrella. Oh, look, there's an old train there. A big plane. Look, that's a huge snowblower, never mind. 1960 snowblower. Look at this. Land Rover. Ambulance. British. <laughs> yeah. Bedford. Crew bus. British Airways crew bus. <laughs> oh, that's, look, look, it was open. It's kind of cool, actually. Concord. It looks, like, it looks like someone tried to stretch a mini. Yeah, it's, it's like mini cars. Look at these. Oh, oh, oh. So beautiful. Is that what I think that is? Yeah? Mm -hmm. oh, look at these. So, so amazing. Also, they're also very huge, too. Long. So tall. They all look absolutely brilliant. <laughs> look at this. Wow. 100.61 miles per hour in a nine horsepower car. That's amazing. Look at this. Oh, such a beautiful car. Wait a second, that's a, a three-wheeler, isn't it? Yup. The three-wheeler. It's amazing. <sighs> Morgan. Always known for making weird and awesome cars. Another three-wheeler joins the mix. It's done by AC. Look at all this stuff. This is amazing. Brooklyn's car museum, everyone. Austin Seven Sports. Oh, so beautiful. Look at that. Look at the body shape. That's amazing. I want one of these now. It just looks beautiful. Austin 7 Speedy. The one I came 35. Look at that. It's amazing. Someone tells me that this is not supposed to be here. It's huge! Like, it's massive. Look at that. It's just gigantic. Very heavy. Yeah. And uh, we're going to have no friction discs made. Right. And they're wooden. Really? Yeah. These oh inside here, they're made out of wood. Wow. Turned out of wood and then soaked in oil and then oh. put it back again. Oh, superb. Yeah. My goodness. Yeah. Oh, these. The amazing classics. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what? Oh, what's up? Okay, model, okay. This is so cool. This museum is heaven. Bentley four and a half liter. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, uh, 
cars from the James Bond books, actually, was the form I have to do that So futuristic, you yeah. know. I would honestly say just because how iconic it is, that the four and a half liter is actually the definitive Bentley. Right. Yeah. And also, it looks amazing. Not just for its time, but for now. Like nowadays, it still looks absolutely brilliant. I guess even the vintage appeal too, it's just such a cool car. Yeah. This is one of, really one of the coolest looking cars I've ever actually seen, in real life or otherwise. I mean everything here looks absolutely amazing. <sighs> but look at this. It's low, it's got massive, really, like, wide and tall tires. And the back wheels are double wheels. Tail is everything up here is so futuristically cool looking, it's amazing. Some looking motorbikes in here too, this museum, the Brooklyn Museum. Oh, look at that. That looks so amazing. I love the bicycle up there. And the display is so perfect. I mean, this collection is probably worth millions and millions and millions. I mean, not just the amount of things, but the quality they're kept in. Oh, look an arrow, huh? Even a whole room for not just motorcycles, but uh, bicycles. So many non powered wheels. And then I feel this door back in the room behind the massive Bentley 4 liter. See? Oh, this museum is amazing. Sadly no gift shop, but I mean it feels like a fairground out here. Makes it like a zombie ghost town. Kinda cool though. Actually no, very cool. Now we're gonna ask actual, actual Tesco, that does a Tesco's Express. <sighs> so wet out there. This is massive in here. snacks. So apparently in England they have these cool taste reviews I guess with like ice on them. <laughs> it's weird. Butter, butter. That would be W sets, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I keep, thinking, I keep thinking that Pepsi Max is actually a big thing in England. It's like nothing at all in America. We've got the candy and snacks and uh, so Joe, you know it's really funny? I thought you me today in Tesco actually when you were gone I was helping, actually I had to help someone get something down off the shelf because I'm taller than they were. Um, they look so, like they look at me like thanks, and their face goes to immediate. Oh, you're American when I start speaking. <laughs> like their face goes to immediate surprise when they, when they hear an American accent come out of my mouth. It's hilarious. There was a water droplet on my inner camera on my iPad, so I was kind of scared to hear broken versing because it was all fuzzy, <laughs> like more fuzzy than it's just grainy right now. Also, it, it was a wet, wet, wet and cold day today. It's two degrees Celsius. That's like what, like 35 degrees Fahrenheit. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not that cold. I do really well in cold temperatures, uh, but it was a way rainy. Yeah. Beautiful tree. I'm like America, where it's just decorate. Like literally, if decorations obscure the entire tree, you know you're American. Congratulations, <laughs> <laughs> because okay. productivity and consumptions. <laughs> that is that is really cool though. Change. So what is the high street anyway? The high street is. Yeah. We would go down that we would turn left, but if oh, we kept okay. going straight, we would go down the high street. Is it just one or is it A High Street or is it just the High Street? It's the High Street, there's only one. In uh, Kilford, there's only one. Oh, okay. I'm like, yeah. uh, sorry, but sorry. it's actually, it's almost split into two, but it is only one road. You look down there to your right, that's the High Street. Yeah. Uh, we're coming to England in like, uh, around, like, it's, it's a little left over a month of Christmas, but those little lights are just so nice to look at. Mm. But they're not like, literally everywhere, which is lovely. Yes, yeah. It's a great change for America where they are everywhere, yeah. including in some years on cars, which have been banned due to, well, 
driver distractions for, and other obvious reasons. We're gonna pick up the dogs now, right? And then we're yes. gonna go. Also, um, I think unlike America, England, you can still buy the gas-powered smart cars. Right, you said that's right. Yeah, you only get the electric ones that feel like an 87 mile range in America. Hmm. Which ain't a whole lot. No, it's not, especially when charging time like several hours. Yeah. As somebody who's like really annoyed because they want to get a new smart car. Yeah, they already have one. I don't know why they're decided to buy a smart car. Um, probably because you can like park sideways in any like normal parking spot. Yeah, if yeah. you want to. Um, but yeah, they want to buy a new one, but they don't want to buy the electric one. So they have to get like, and it's too expensive. To get, it's like not worth it to get one actually imported from Germany. Because hmm. it's, it's, it's made from Mercedes, so. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Also, in New York City, they actually have police smart cars. Do they? And I actually saw a minivan get pulled over by a police smart car when I was there. Uh -huh. I didn't film it for obvious reasons because it's a police act. You don't want to be, don't, don't really want to be filming someone in a police act. But, um,. The guy, the, the, the person, it's gotta be very humiliating for anyone to get pulled over by someone in a smart car. Yeah. Also, the guy didn't stop because he didn't, he didn't see the police officer behind him. Because <laughs> it, it's so small, the van didn't have any like actual like um, decent size. Like the van's window was so high, you couldn't see the top of the car. <laughs> <laughs> and so then the driver had to go around in front of him, park in front of him, and then you had to stop and get out. Okay. <laughs> 